the first half of today's six mile walk follows the River South Tyne from Park Village, past Featherstone and on to Lamley. The river's source is near Garrigill in the North Pennines and flows down to Haltwhistle and on to Hexham where it meets the North Tyne to form the River Tyne. in Featherstone prisoner of war camp. This was a German prisoner of war camp from 1945 at the end of the Second World War through to 1948 and it was a seedbed of British German reconciliation post the war. There are still a few buildings left so we'll have a look around those and the tracks and then we'll carry on along the river South Tyne on to our next Featherstone Castle dates back to around the time of the Doomsday Book as a manor house owned by the Featherstone Hoff family. It changed hands many times over the centuries with many alterations carried out. Its current format was built in the 19th century including the turrets and gateways and its later life has been used as a school and an activity centre. opened in 1944 to accommodate US troops coming to the UK, in 1945 Camp 18 became a prisoner of war camp. Just a year later it held 4,000 4, Nazi troops in 200 buildings making up four compounds. Camp 18 operated a denazification programme primarily holding officers and bureaucrats. This rehabilitation and re-education programme was very successful. By day, prisoners worked in the community nearby and by night received an academic education including visiting lecturers from local universities. Facilities included a newspaper, three orchestras, a bakery, theatre, library, classroom, sports field and a chapel. Now very little is left behind, including a small number of brick buildings, the foundations of Nissen huts that made up the majority of the camp and a few fence posts which would once have carried the barbed wire encircling the camp.
actually is quite um it's quite interesting the little bits that are left but there's not too much really which is a bit of a shame but at the same time you know how much world war ii memorabilia stuff do you really want left on your land side i don't really know um but yes yeah, she's free to walk around on there uh, on the footpath that sort of follows the river towards Lamley Viaduct. Um, but yeah, there was obviously a lot more here in the past than there is now. Demolished. designed by George Barclay Bruce, who later pioneered India's railways. The viaduct closed along with the railway in 1976 and later reopened to pedestrians and cyclists in 1991. Lamley Viaduct stretches over 260 metres across the River South Tyne, with nine arches carrying the former railway over the river, the deck sitting 33 metres above the river and only 3.5 metres wide. The stone blocks making up the pillars weigh up to 500 kilograms each. There's also a lower footbridge which offers a stunning view of the viaduct and an opportunity to sit at the stone beach. Primarily, it was built to service coal and lead mines at Alston and Nent Head, with stops including Cohenwood, which also had a thriving mining industry of its own at the time. You can then continue on foot or by bike along the former track from Park Village down to Holt Whistle, or in the opposite direction, the South Tyne Heritage Railway now operates from Alston out to Slaggyford.
so from the bridge where we were before there are a lot of steps up to the viaduct i haven't been counting but oh my word it is hard work headed up short steep and then you're there let's go and have a look <laughs> 